Recall that we don't just live in a three-dimensional space. In fact, we live in a four-dimensional space-time where space and time are intermingled together. If space-time is distorted, we'd expect both space and time to experience the effects, and they do. To understand how time is influenced by space-time curvature, we first have to understand Einstein's principle of equivalence. This states that a uniform gravitational field is exactly equivalent to a system with a constant acceleration. So this means that if you were in a room without windows, experiencing a typical 1g force of gravity like on Earth, there'd be no way to tell if you were actually at rest on the Earth or if you were inside a rocket ship that is accelerating at a rate to produce 1g of force. Imagine you're on a rocket ship that is accelerating as it moves. The rocket ship has two identical clocks, one at the head called clock A and the other at the tail called clock B. Strangely, clock A will run faster than clock B. In order to see this, let's say clock A emits a flash of light every second. In the first flash, the light will travel towards clock B, but the rocket ship will also move forward moving clock B in the direction of clock A. Ultimately, the light will have to traverse a distance L1. However, in the next flash of light, the same thing happens, except now the rocket is moving faster than before since we said the rocket was accelerating. At this rate, the distance the light traverses, L2, is now less than the distance L1. If the time between the first flash and the second flash was emitted was one second apart from clock A, flashes would be separated by less than one second at the location of clock B. So clock A runs faster relative to clock B. Alternatively, if this experiment is reversed so that clock B emits flashes of light, then clock B would appear to run slower relative to clock A. Recall that Einstein's principle of equivalence says that this effect would also be exactly the same in a gravitational field. If you put two clocks on Earth, clock A, high above clock B, then again, clock A runs faster than clock B. We can express this rate difference as the rate at the receiver is equal to the rate of emission times 1 plus Earth's gravitational constant of acceleration, g, times the height difference of the clocks, h, divided by the speed of light, c, squared.